Hey, today's video is a lot of fun. If you've ever wanted to build a little art project for yourself using AI tools, today's the day. What you saw in the opening, or at least a little slice, is what we're gonna to build today. I'm gonna to walk through and show you the tools that I'm using, the prompts that I'm using to get there, and kind of my path to completion. You'll really see soup to nuts. I'm gonna go very quickly and little spots of each one of the tools, but I think I share enough to really give you the idea of what I'm doing with each tool. So some of these tools will be new to you, some of the techniques will probably be new, but I really think it's a project that if you wanna take on on your own, in an hour or two, you'll have a really fun little project and you will really learn a lot along the way. So let's dive in today and use five distinct tools to solve a little art project. Okay, so our first step is going to be building the base card that we're interested in animating. So if you remember, the first thing we've got is kind of this Borderlands style uh, boss card. So when a boss is introduced in the game, they kind of have a graphic image, a large graphic image of the, the boss itself, the boss's name, and kind of a nickname. We're gonna follow that premise, but we're gonna get rid of a lot of the grunge, and we're going to pass in an image of each one of the leaders that we're interested in in playing with. But what we're interested in is creating pictures of kids or kids on a playground, kind of a graphic style from maybe a Saturday morning cartoon or a, a educational cartoon kind of graphic style, but still using this same principle. I'm gonna put them all on playground equipment or something like that. So I need to build that card. I need to kind of design my way into that card. So I'm gonna use ChatGPT. I'll be using 4.0 and I'll be creating images from it. And so from here, I'm going to just start throwing some prompts in and getting images back. Okay, the first image it gave me back, really kind of excellent already. This is a great start. I want to de-age the character a little bit. I wanna make sure that these characters are young, they're kids playing on playground equipment. And also I want to make sure that the the titling here kind of stands out from the background, but this is already a great start. So one more prompt. Okay, after several back and forths, as you can see, I went back and forth several times to get to this final image. So this is where we are. I can't say I'm super excited about it, but for this project, I think it'll be fun. I think this is very cute and kid friendly still, which is one of the things that I'm going for. What I need here, so I've created a GPT that can create these title images for me, these card images is what I call them. But what I need is a prompt from this one because this one's filled with a bunch of context that I, would, I don't want to carry along into the next generation of more and more of these cards. So what I'm gonna do is ask for a simple prompt here that I can seed another GPT with. Give me just a second and let me create that. Okay, so I'm asking this one to give me a system prompt that would basically be able to build these cards again and again. And then we're gonna create another GPT with just that system prompt and the sample image that we just built so that I can start creating more of these cards very quickly. Okay, great, and now we have a very expressive kind of prompt here that I'm gonna go put into another ChatGPT session. And then I will also include that image that we just generated on the last, on the last generation. All right, and so that should seed this GPT or this chat session. Let's set that up. And then what I should be able to do is just push in a new image and ask for uh, a new card coming back. Let's take a look. Okay, so now that we have this built, I hope I can just put in pictures, names, nickname, and activity, hit it, and let it generate some images. Let's see what we can get out of all of these. Okay, okay, so here's what we've got so far. These are the images that I downloaded from ChatGPT. They thematically all seem to work together. They're pretty cute. So we're gonna move forward with this, but the next problem is that they're not in the right resolution. If you see that it says 1536 by 1024, that's a three by two aspect ratio. I know that probably doesn't make a lot of sense to a lot of people, but basically I want an HD kind of uh, 1920, 1080, aspect ratios so that it fills the screen appropriately like anything else would. We don't end up with black bars. I'm gonna use another tool to do that. So let's jump over and turn these into the right HD aspect ratio. Okay, so I'm gonna use Mid Journey for this. I've also used Photoshop for this. Photoshop is actually kind of brilliantly strong at this, but I've also found that Mid Journey does a reasonable job of this. Let's see how I go about doing this. I have an image that's not, not the right aspect ratio. I need to make it bigger, but I don't wanna just increase the size and crop it. So I kind of want a generative fill. 
Let's see what that looks like. So in mid journey, I'm going to come over. I'm going to click edit inside of the edit panel. I'm going to go very quickly. Sorry. I'm going to upload one of these images. All right. At this point, very simply, I'm going to hit resize to 16 by nine up here. I do have to put something in, I believe. Let's see if I can just submit. Nope. It need a prompt. So I'm just going to say, Phil, it's been pretty good about this. Okay, and over here you'll see the different images that it created and the different options that I have. Maybe how I want to do the latter might change things, but these are all perfectly fine. That's good enough. I'll just upscale that to my gallery, let that go off, create a new one and make all of these. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, real quick, I thought I'd show you this in Photoshop. So if we just change canvas size, What you end up with is this big canvas here that if I select the extra canvas element and I do generative fill and just generate, then we end up with a wonderful fill. There's the options over here if you wanted to change options. Good enough. Okay, that's two tools. Let me say if you've got Photoshop, use it. Resizing to the exact size that you need saves a step later. But so now we have all these at 19, 20, 1080, which is the HD that we're looking for time to drop into some video stuff. Let's go see about that. Okay, for this, we're gonna use VO. So VO3 just recently released, but we have no need to, to do any kind of audio with this. So we'll just be using VO2. And in fact, I'm going to be using VO2 fast, which will be essentially the cheapest version that gives me 10 credits because I don't have that many credits left after my previous project. Um, but I'm going to generate two each so that I have something to compare against. If you only have a few generations, if you're on a a smaller version of VO or some other model, you might want to just create one or some other payment system. But here's a problem. I can't put the images in here. Once I do put the images in here, I don't know what to type in here. So that's kind of a problem. So back to ChatGPT, I'm going to put one of the images in here and say, I need you to act as a system that can create a video prompt. I'm going to be using VO as my video system. The image above is what I'm going to animate. You'll notice that there is a background card that has a title and a subtitle as well as a foreground image. I want that foreground character and the toy that they're playing with to be animated just a little bit in the resulting video. So I don't need anything major. I just need to be able to naturally animate whatever is in this. I am going to be giving you different images one after the other. And what I want you to give me back is a relatively simplified prompt. So maybe a small paragraph describing not the image itself, but the animation that we want, because I will be providing this image to the model so that it can see the first frame and then animate from there. So you're then to tell it what it needs to do and what it needs to animate. We're interested in animating the foreground and the human character. Okay, before I trust this too much, let's take this prompt and give it a shot with our first one here. All right, paste the prompt in. I need to go frames to video. That means that I'm going to enter a first frame here. So if I upload our first frame, here we go. Okay, so we got the first frame out of the generation. So I think that the prompt was pretty reasonable. We can see the prompt here. It's the prompt that we took from the GPT. Let's take a look at these two generations. I know I'm gonna, going pretty quickly here, I apologize, but the real concept is I'm using ChatGPT for a lot of the glue that is creating the repeating aspects of the work. And that's really a, an unlock to some degree so that you're not trying to do this every time by hand and getting differences out. But let's take a look at these generations. The first one has a little bit of a problem. You can see Sam comes off the seesaw in the beginning. Otherwise it has a pretty good generation. But the second one looks really good and I think is very usable, which leads me to believe that we're in a good place with this, this prompt and we have good images to start from. So I think that at this point, I'm just gonna move on and generate all of these. Let's see what they look like. And I'm back in the chat GPT just to show you this is set up the way we set up this prompt at the beginning was enough to tell it. I'm just going to provide you a new image. Take a look at the image and give me a result back. And it works that I can just attach an image and hit enter. And then I'll get the prompt back that we need for that generation. So it's really a pretty fast turnaround to be able to say, here's a new image. Give me the prompt. Here's a new image. Give me the prompt. There would be ways to do this in an automated fashion. But since we're only doing six, it's easy enough to just attach a new one, get the image and the prompt here. Okay, so these are generating just fine. That's great. Um, I will say that first one that you saw me attach with Sam, uh, it was the wrong image. So I'm keeping both the original GPT one and then the extended one or the, 
the rescaled one to the 1920. And you can see the black bars, and I'm interested in not having those black bars. So I'm up here generating the new SAM again with the, the extended one, just to show you the difference of what it would have come out like. We would have had a perfectly fine system. If you don't have Photoshop or something like that, you can create this without a problem. Okay, so now that we have all these videos here and created with VO or whatever you might be creating them with, in VO you could select these and add them to a scene and create kind of a sequence of these videos right here in VO and then download that. What I've done instead is I've downloaded them. I'm gonna put them into a piece of software. You'll see as I build that why, but we're about to go on to the next secret part and this is where it really starts to be a little bit of enjoyable fun. Okay, here's some surprise fun. This isn't gonna be much of a video if it doesn't have a nice soundtrack to it. So I've come over to Suno and I believe as a free user, you can do some generations. I don't think you can share those generations easily. Uh, you kind of need to subscribe to be able to share stuff, but I'll leave that for a different description. But so I need a video here that is a fun little, uh, like playground fun soundscape or something like that. Maybe a song that would be on a Saturday morning cartoon that's instrumental only. So I don't know what to write here. You know where we're going next. I need to create a, an, a prompt for a music maker, Suno, where it will create a song for me that's instrumental and kind of fits behind a Saturday morning cartoon or something like that. Fun, lightweight, children on the playground, something that kids would enjoy and has a nice little bump to it. Okay, let's give that a shot here. All right, I'm gonna do this in the custom. Let's put the prompt in and let's just create. I mean, kinda yeah. Let's try the other one. Okay, either one of those is gonna work. I think this is gonna work. But we have one last trick, and this is really the fun part. Come on over here. Okay, welcome to Eleven Labs. So we're going to use their new tunable voice model that you can kind of put hints on how you want the voice to act. So I've picked a couple voices here. Hi, my name is Sarah. Flicker, that's me, is a cute, cheerful, and very smart. My name's Emma. And today I'm going to tell you, hey, I'm Arisita. I might be a little ditzy, but I'm... All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to come back and create a text-to-speech. And all we're going to do here is change the model that we're using. Let's use that Arisita. And then make Arisita say something fun. Let's let's do Sundar Pichai. <laughs> Sundar Pichai? <laughs> Sundar Pichai. Okay, excellent. So we're gonna create a couple voices here that introduce these characters. Okay, and finally, we put them all together in your favorite video editing software. Okay, that part might be a little bit of a challenge for some of you, but there are some really simple video editing pieces out there that you can go download. I happen to be using one called DaVinci Resolve. It may be more complex than you, you, you need. You might be able to use uh, iMovie or something simple like that. All you really need is the ability to put things on multiple tracks, tack them together, Bob's your uncle. Now it's time, it's the grand reveal of our wonderful project that we've been working on. Are you excited? I'm excited, I haven't even seen it yet. Uh, I really haven't, it still hasn't been built. All right, here we go.
Okay, so that's excellent. That was so much fun. I hope you learned something from this. I'm going to keep this short so that uh, the whole video doesn't seem like it's too daunting, but I think there's a bunch to see from that. Maybe pick up. Maybe there's some techniques that you haven't seen before. I really enjoyed exploring this. I had to build this for another project. That's really what this was all about. And I thought, oh, that was such a neat little build and a lot of moving parts, but the, none of them are necessarily hard. I thought it would be really fun to share it. I bet somebody else can create some fun stuff. And hey, by the way, first off, if you enjoy stuff like this, please subscribe. It really does help the channel. I really appreciate all the subscriptions I've gotten recently. But also, if you create something like this, please share it. Put something down in the comments below. I would love to see this stuff. I really would love to see what other people come up with. So feel free to put something down there that, that we can all get pointed to and, and see your stuff as well. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for coming along on this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Hit a miss.